Hi, I'm Alan, and this is Budget Boat Cruising, the channel for people who like to cruise on their own boats with a certain amount of uh, style. This episode is part two of anchoring. I suggest that you watch episode one on choosing an anchor first. You'll find the uh, link in the card. Uh, just click on I in the uh, upper right hand corner. Now, ground tackle sounds like a position in American football, doesn't it? It's uh, what it actually is, is what lies between your anchor and your boat. In fact, uh, it is the chain or line. Um, and if at all possible, you should, it should be all chain. If uh, you want to avoid running aground at uh, a simple anchorage, make sure that the first 50 feet, or about 15 meters, is chain. The chain will stay on the bottom, unlike rope, and give you uh, a more peaceful night's sleep, as when the boat pulls against the anchor, it first raises the chain. Uh, each time you anchor, check the shackles between the chain and the anchor to make sure that they are secured with wire to prevent the screw shafts from opening while being deployed. Before you start anchoring, if you are towing a dinghy, shorten up the line so it doesn't wrap around the propeller. When choosing a spot to anchor, choose an area that offers maximum shelter from wind, current, and boat traffic. Listening to the marine weather will allow you to know in which direction the wind will come from. If the wind is out of the east, choose a spot that is protected from the east. This will also mean less wave action and again, a better night's sleep. Um, pick a spot with a swinging room in all directions. Should the wind change, your boat will swing uh, bow to the wind or current, whichever is stronger. Uh, the next thing to do is to try and determine which way the boat will point or lay once the anchor is set. If there are other boats anchored in the area, this will uh, be easier, but remember that not all boats swing at the same time, so keep your distance. Uh, if not, the first thing to consider is the wind. As a courtesy to others, always attach an anchor buoy to the anchor. This will help avoid boaters dropping anchors over your ground tackle. Um, I like to uh, look in the water uh, with the Polaroid lenses. Uh, that helps a lot if you're looking for lighter patches in the water, which is probably shallower ground. These uh, shallower areas, um, you can also check with your depth sounder if you have it. You uh, need to know the approximate depth to know the amount of road uh, to lay down. The general rule is uh, 3 to 1 for lunch or a swim stop and 5 to 1 or even 7 to 1 for overnight. If uh, I'm in 10 feet of water then I need at least 50 feet out. This ratio is called scope and there's more line uh, you have out the better you will hold um, and especially that's especially true if the sea gets rough later on. When making calculations, take tide and distance from the water to the anchor chalk in mind. Once you've dropped the anchor and the anchor buoy, then reverse the boat uh, to set the anchor. You will know if the anchor holds by watching the anchor line. If it tightens and you feel the boat stop going backwards, it has hooked. If it's not setting, pull it up and start again. An important part of being a good skipper is to have a well-trained crew so they'll know what to do. Keep in mind that uh, the crew members dropping the anchor may not be able to hear the skipper and vice versa, so having standardized hand signals will be useful. Once you've uh, fit out about one-third to one-half of the scope with the boat still uh, backing up slowly, tighten your grip on the road until you feel the slack being taken up and the anchor tugging. Then let the uh, feet out a bit more.
keeping a light tension on it so that the anchor is being set straight. Again, uh, tighten your grip enough to feel the anchor tug. If your grip's not strong enough for this, pass the line under a horn or a deck lead to, to make sure uh, it's easier to hold. Snub it up firmly, but uh, not long enough to drag the anchor along the bottom. Just enough to uh, give it a feel of and see if it's tugging for a second, then just ease off. Repeat this snub and feed pattern several times. Uh, by the way, thanks to Yachting Monthly for some of the info on this uh, episode. Uh, check them out at their link. I have it listed below. Now, there's one more episode on anchoring, and I'll call it What to Do in the Middle of the Night When Everything Goes to Rat Shit. I hope you found this episode useful. Please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. May I suggest other videos from Budget Boat Cruising? You can link to them from the cards in the upper right or from the uh, links at the end of this video. Please subscribe, ring the bell to be notified each time we post. That's usually about every two weeks. My name is Alan and thank you for watching. Fair winds and stay safe.